around the world, nearly 790 million people are without access to electricity. It's hard to imagine it now with all the bright lights of Dhaka behind me, but over 6 million of them are here in Bangladesh. Being without power has a damaging impact on their education, their health, their overall quality of life. So how can these isolated people gain access to affordable, stable, and importantly, clean electricity? An exciting young company called SoulShare is tackling this problem head on. It has pioneered a technology which it hopes will have global implications and is already lighting up even the remotest homes here in Bangladesh by empowering people to generate not only electricity, but also an income. I work in sustainable development and I'm looking forward to learning more about SoulShare, which sees itself as the Airbnb of the energy sector. It's built on the fact that Bangladesh has one of the largest number of solar home systems in the world, reaching over 20 million people. Sebastian Gro first came to Bangladesh in 2014 as a PhD student. He set up the company soon after, the first to develop a peer-to-peer -peer microgrid system, enabling people to sell excess energy. Being in the villages and seeing the people with the solar home systems, mm. we had people with systems and people without systems. Now, the people without systems had no electricity. Mm. The people with systems we saw, sometimes in the afternoon, their batteries were full, so the electricity got lost. We said, like, can we not put them together so that they can share that? SoulShare's research showed that 30% of the electricity generated was going unused every year, amounting to around $1 billion of lost energy. So the team developed an ingenious device to prevent wastage. This is the Solvox. This is our basically electricity meter, but this one allows you to share solar electricity. Instead of kilowatt hours, it shows money. It shows taka. Uh, in this case, it has 500 taka, which is almost $6. And whenever I'm selling electricity, it runs up, so I have more money. And whenever I'm buying, it runs down and I have less. And, and what about the three houses here? What do they represent? So, each box can be connected to three other boxes. So one house can be connected to three other houses, and then again three other houses. This is why we refer to it also as swarm electrification. We see in nature a lot of swarms or schools of fish. They swim together, they move together. The more fish, the stronger the swarm. Right, so even if one house malfunctions, they can still have access to some electricity that way. Absolutely, and that makes it so strong and robust. You should go to the village and you will see that. Many of SoulShare's customers live on remote islands. Showing me the way is Aziza Sultana Mukti, who goes around the country ensuring the technology works smoothly. We've been traveling for around eight hours from Dhaka to here in Bogota district, and now we'll be going across this river to an island called Chorkhash Rasbari, where people are already using the soul boxes. So we're hoping to see them in action and maybe even install one. Let's see how that goes. We've got quite a journey ahead. I'm guessing the central grid has not reached these areas yet. Right. 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 And why is that the case? These are the geographical challenged areas of Bangladesh. And then our government, they are trying to raise everyone. But of course it's not easy, not financially, not technologically. Most of Bangladesh has an elevation of less than 5 meters, which leaves it dangerously exposed to storms, floods and rising sea levels. Even for people who are part of the grid uh, system in Bangladesh, they're still vulnerable to climate change. So I'm guessing that's another issue that SoulShare can probably help address. Yes, climate change is a generic issue. It's a global issue. But of course, Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries. This makes the central electricity grid even less reliable, which is why people are turning to solar home systems. Whenever any community, they are generating electricity, this is the most resilient way, especially if it is renewable energy. SoulShare has developed 31 decentralized energy grids across the country. One of them is here, in the village of Pirgacha, where nearly 600 people are benefiting from swarm electrification. Field engineer Farooq Hussain installs soul boxes around the country and troubleshoots any problems with the grids. connection 
সাইদুল ভাই কেমন আছেন ভালো আছি আমি ভালো আছি আপনি ভালো আছেন শপকিপার সাইদুল হোসেন অলরেডি হ্যাজ আ সোলার হোম সিস্টেম হুইচ ইজ বিন ইউজিং ফর দ্য পাস্ট 2 ইয়ার্স টুডে হি ইজ বাইং আ সোল বক্স হুইচ কস্টস 2000 টাকা অর রাফলি 25 ডলারস তো আপনি যদি আসেই ওটা আপনি সোল বক্সে নিলেন কেন তাহলে তো আমি যেটা নিছি আমার বর্তমানে যেটা আছে সেটাতে আমার হচ্ছে না আদারওয়াইজ আমি আপনি শুধু খালি আমার কম্পিউটার চলে বাতি জ্বালাইলে আমার নাল বাতি আসে আমি মোবাইলে সার্ভিসিং এর কাজ করব সেটাও করতে পারতেছি না পরে সবার কাছে শুনা মেলা দেখি যে না এটা আসলে ভালো এটা দিয়ে সব কিছু চালানো যাবে এই জন্য এটার প্রতি আমি আগ্রহ প্রকাশ করছি যে এটা আমি নেব আর কি যখন আমি আসলাম আসার পরে ওনাকে ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালিভাবে বোঝালাম যে এই প্রোডাক্টের এই গুণগত মান সম্পর্কে আপনি যদি আপনি দোকানে না থাকেন তাহলে কিন্তু আমাদের এই বক্সের মাধ্যমে আপনি সেল করতে পারবেন আর আপনার যখন দেখা গেছে বিদ্যুৎ শেষ হয়ে যাবে আপনার নিজের সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের গ্রিডের মাধ্যমে আপনি বিদ্যুৎ কিনতে পারবেন আমি আপনাকে কিভাবে সাহায্য করতে পারি একটু কাটটা ধরতে হবে আমাকে একটা হাতুড়িটা দেবে ইলেকট্রিসিটি can then choose whether or not to trade electricity with their neighbors using mobile payments and users who don't have solar home systems can now buy electricity for the first time I'm like going to on korte pari ji dan seems to be working yes thanks to this technology users are no longer dependent on polluting kerosene lamps to light their homes Dr. Shafiqul Islam is a local physician whose soul box powers his clinic as well as medical tools like a nebulizer. So he can treat patients who have been exposed to toxic air at home. Shei karone. Ei beshi dhula wali karone eigulo rog gulo beshi hoy ebong gulo tate onek koshto tokhon ekta nebulizer dile sathe sathe eta solve hoye jay. Age ei nebulizer to onek dure jete hoto. Nodi amader je Durgam alaka onek dure jete hoto. ইনকামের Soulshare has ambitious plans to roll out its unique peer-to-peer -peer trading network. It aims to reach 2.5 million people in Bangladesh by the end of 2023 and estimates it can cut down on over 200 metric tons of carbon emissions in the next two years. Our technology's beauty is that it doesn't connect only neighboring household. It can connect neighboring microgrid even. When it will be pretty large, then we can interconnect with national grid. Do you think it could be, it could actually expand worldwide? Yes, why not? Because I think that uh, in future, uh, many countries and many regions will adopt this. The potential for this technology is huge. It can transform the way communities are powered and improve the lives of millions of people around the world. Swarm electrification is here to stay and Solshare is proving that the future of energy has started in Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs>